it's Miss Jones again. Miss Stone recently read a story to you guys about blue bonnets, and my whole house is surrounded by blue bonnets. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to draw pictures of blue bonnets. It's our steak flower, and I can't wait to get started with this project. We're gonna go inside and get our supplies together. Here we go, friends. So what we're gonna need for this project today is just a piece of paper and a green, blue, red, and black crayon. You can use markers if you don't have crayons, it's not a big deal. But for this, I was gonna use um, crayon. So here we go. I'm gonna get all of these off and only needing the green first. So my paper is vertical, so it's tall and skinny. And we're going to be making our blue bonnet picture vertically on our paper, so in portrait mode, okay? So here we go. We're gonna start by doing tall lines in green. So a nice long line in green this way. And then we're gonna do another one, meeting it on this side and another meeting it on this side. I'm gonna make that one a little bit more curvy because they don't have to be perfect. If yours are not perfectly straight either, it is not a big deal. So from here, we're gonna make a few Y shapes. So we're just going diagonal here, back and forth, and we're gonna do that on all of these. Once you have all of your little Y's or V shapes, again, they're not even connecting all the way. It's not a big deal. This is just to give you a little bit of breakup whenever you're doing your blue. Um, but once you have all of these done, we're gonna put the green down for a bit and we're gonna move on to blue. So I love that crayons most of the time have labels on them so you can be working on your sight words here also. Um, but also for those colorblind babies, whenever brands don't have the colors written on them, it makes me sad. So we're gonna go ahead and start by doing blue circles, just alternating down the um, stem of the flower. So I'm gonna put one right on the top and I'm not coloring it all the way in because it doesn't have to be colored all the way in. There is white in the blue bonnet. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and not worry about if they're colored all the way in. If they are colored in all the way, that's fine also, but we're gonna go back and forth. So notice that's a zigzag. Once you have your zigzag done on all of them, we're going to fill in and we're gonna want the middle of it to be a little bit thicker. So we're gonna add some in here close to the stalk, but then as we get further down, we're gonna add larger clusters and we're gonna go right over that green at times also. So you can see that it's skinnier and not as many up at the top, but the further down we get, the thicker it gets. There are more in concentrated areas the lower down you get. And we're gonna do the same thing to each of the flowers. Once you finish with each of those, you wanna step back a little bit from it and look at that and see if there's any places you need to add some. Top here. 
just to kind of make them not look like they're straight. You want them to be kind of bumpy and not super perfect looking. So now that we have the flowers drawn, we're gonna take our green again and maybe thicken this up just a little bit here at the bottom. And then we're gonna go back to our red, or we're gonna pick up our red, and we're gonna do a bow at the base, tying the three blue bonnets together. So I'm gonna do a little, um, kind of cylinder shape, but you don't wanna cover up the green. Now, the good thing about crayon is if you go over it, you can kind of scratch it off and fix any of that, but it honestly doesn't matter. You just wanna be careful that you don't go over too much because it'll make a brownish color. So it's kind of a cylinder for the middle section of the bow. And then you're gonna do a heart shape on this side and a heart shape on this side. These are not super symmetrical. It's not really a big deal. We're gonna go ahead and color those in. All right, once you have those colored in, we're gonna do the little tails on the ribbons. So I'm gonna make a little wavy line coming down here and another one coming down, kind of like a sidewalk or a road. So you want them to run parallel to each other. So that means they would never touch. And then do kind of a little V shape at the bottom. Color that in and then do the same thing on the other side. So now I have my bow here, but the plant doesn't end right at the ribbon we need to put the rest of the plant coming down the bottom. So the stem needs to go down further. So we're gonna take our green, and how many do we need? One, two, three. So make sure you don't put too many stems coming out of the base. And these can go down as long or as short as you want them. So we have our three stems for our three plants here. If you feel like you need more up here, you can. If you wanna add more into your blue up here, you can. That's up to you. But we're gonna go ahead and shadow. So using the black, we're gonna go around the cylinder shape a little bit and then make it look like it's been tied. We'll go around the outside edge of this bow and then make a teardrop shape at the bottom of this one. Go around the outside of this one here and make a teardrop shape here. If you want to shade that in a little bit to shadow under there you can. Under side. We're just going really lightly with the black to make a shadow. Then we're gonna go around the outside of this a little bit. Super thin black line, not pressing very dark. And then we're gonna shadow underneath here. So we'll go ahead and add a little bit of black to the screen. Now, if adding the black scares you, you don't have to do it. It looks perfectly fine without the black touches on there. Um, it kind of is one of those make it or break it moments for you. And then I'm putting like a little bit of a C shape or a U shape underneath these blue circles, just to kind of give it a little bit of shadow on the underside of each of the 
little petals. They're interesting little petals. They're not your normal teardrop shaped petals. These are like little balls. And you wanna do this all along each of them. And again, just pressing really lightly that's it. So if you want to add something to yours, adding a background or adding other types of flowers in between, I think it would be really pretty to take it and do like some little daisies or some Indian paintbrushes or something extra on there. That would be really awesome. I would love to see what you come up with. So please take pictures and put them on my Facebook page, Art Time with Mrs. Jones. Um, if you want to be in the picture, just hold it and that way I can see it because I want to see your sweet face because I miss you terribly. If you have any questions, please message me. I would be happy to help you or set up a time where we can even video chat. Um, that sounds fantastic because like I said, I really want to see your sweet faces. Have a wonderful rest of your day and keep creating. Bye.